Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm out here at my friend John's parents' property. And uh, this is the lowest I've ever seen it, guys. Y'all seen us? Y'all seen us throw? Uh, Y'all seen us making some videos out here for the last year and a half? This is the lowest we've ever seen it, man. It's summertime, and Texas hasn't really got a lot of rain. So uh, John invited me out this morning, and uh, his parents are asking us to catch everything, anything that's up to three pounds, to uh, bring it in for eating. We're gonna fillet them and uh, and uh, eat these bad boys today. So I'm gonna throw a frog for a little bit. Y'all stay tuned. Let me see if I can catch y'all some fish. It's small. All right, first fish is a little baby boy. He got him some treble hooks. Baby boy, nothing special. All fish, good fish. All right, guys, I swapped over to a little small weight bait. It's kind of like a gizzard shad color. Let's go see if we get anything. Yeah, I caught one fish. It was off a of swim bait, so let's see. The water is super, super shallow. Never seen it this shallow ever. I think we'll grab something off of this right here because this thing right here is kind of flashy and it isn't running low at all. It's my favorite thing to run when it's water's shallow. There we go. Nice one. This is a good one too. This might be a three pounder. Uh, one and a half. Golly. Ooh, you should see how much it took it down the hatch. Look at that, y'all. Maybe, man, it's gone. That's how you want a fish to eat it, y'all. Little nice little one and a half, two pounder. All right, guys, this is going in the basket. Going in the basket for some food. That's one fish down. My guys, John got one on. Killed him with them green worms. Dude, I've been getting hit like every other throw with this green worm. Golly, I'm about to swap over. It's gotta be the long one though. It's like a little snake. It's going in the basket, guys, number three. Yeah. Already. I wonder what they think it is. A snake, a baby snake. Damn. That, those little green worms have always been like the best. Yeah, I've heard. I've never caught a hawk out here. Shoot, best I ever thing. caught, best I ever caught is off a white jig. Should've caught me big bass out here. I haven't even fished with it yet either. Yeah. <clears throat> Watch out, man, he ain't, he ain't getting off of this one. i rip his lip off. Guys, got a baby boy. Dark sleeper number two for the dark sleeper. Right. Nothing, nothing huge, y'all. We ain't got a lot of weight, but we're starting to get up on that quantity. Or the yeah. John's killing it at least. 
baby boy. This is going in John's stomach a little bit later on. Y'all hear him over there? <laughs> he said, yes, sir. Don't be throwing that fish back. John's starting to turn like a coon ass from Louisiana. He ain't throwing nothing away. Nice. Guys, it's going to be like, I went fishing last weekend. I think I got enough content uh, for maybe a couple of like, I guess, uh, how can I say this? Chris caught a couple nice fish. So I think I'm going to mix this weekend with the last weekend. So it kind of make it like a, like a video that's worth a damn. So y'all stay tuned for that. Got one, coach. All right, yeah. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Whoa, 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 you gotta get eaten, boy. Can't. Move another little baby boy off the dark sleeper. Got another one, John. Yeah. Little baby boy going inside the basket. Good bite, y'all. All right, it's a good one. The two pounder. Frogfish, baby. Got you a good one, John. John, I got you a good size one. I said I got you one. Ooh, a pound and a half, maybe. Right. So maybe. That was a frogfish. White frog. that white frog baby dang white frog down the edge I think that's their main course guys look at that another one down the hatch y'all see that where it says eat me
All right, guys, we're me and John are doing pretty good. We got some stuff. John needs to. John's been trying to lose weight and working out and shit, and kind of he likes that white meat, high protein. Yes, sir. That how you want to say? I guess you can call it vitamin E. And uh, yeah, if you look at him now, I think I got a previous video. He's lost about 20 pounds. Good job, John. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> back out there <sighs> guys I think it's like maybe close to 10 o'clock it's overcast 77 degrees it's kind of uh, humid out here golly these frogs are coming alive I mean these fish are eating these frogs all right All right, guys, I'm gonna try to a couple more edges over here and then we're gonna move to a different location. All right. Oh, God. I don't know if y'all see. The wind's kind of blowing, picking up, switching directions. It was, it was coming from the north. Now it's coming a little bit from the east. I uh, almost kind of feel like there's a tornado coming. All right, guys, let me see. I'm gonna throw it over there. Real. See if I can get in there. We're gonna move to a different body of water. Here we go. There we go. There he is. The frogfish is getting them, baby. Jeez, y'all. Taking it down the they're taking the frog down the hatch. Alright. Nice. One more cast. Oh, y'all, that was a three-pounder. All right, guys. Okay, we caught some, uh, some, caught some fish today. It was a little bit, it took a couple hours. Like, literally, I think it was like maybe eight o'clock. Uh, the wind started picking up. It started kind of creating an undercurrent. The fish started breathing. They, the metabolism started, I guess, going crazy because they started biting. I think we ended up catching like maybe, I say maybe 15 fish, maybe, maybe more than that. But all of them, we kept every one of them. Uh, his dad's gonna fillet them, and uh, John likes to eat fish. So yeah, that's what that is, guys. I hope you like the content. Uh, this is kind of like almost like a part two, I guess. I'm gonna kind of put it all in the same video. I came out fishing with Chris last week, so uh, this is the, I guess, the, the next five to ten minutes to finish off the the the, uh, the video that we had last week. But guys, I hope you like the content. Uh, it's kind of slower in my fishing spots. Uh, things are changing, but uh, we need some rain here in Texas, and uh, I think it's coming in the next couple of days. So you guys stay tuned. Please share, comment, like, uh, share with your uncle, your aunts, and your family members, whatever. Try to subscribe. I know it's, it's I only maybe do like maybe two videos a month, maybe once a month. So y'all hang tight. Thank you. I appreciate the support. Peace out. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's been three weeks to a month actually until we've been out fishing. Uh, so we're out here at the secret spot. The water is probably like what, you think four feet? 
three feet low or something like that, maybe? I say 20 feet. 20 feet, y'all. <laughs> look, look at the bank. Yeah. It's normal. All that grass right there, you can even see that right there where look they the stand dock. up. All that grass is normally underneath the water. Look at the dock. Yep. So, Chris, since all the water's down and all that stuff like that, what, what's your game plan for today? I mean, what do you. I'm just gonna throw... start off with the old reliable, which is that old chatterbait. Chatterbait with the white rage tail. All right. What's the temperature out here? Uh, it's, it's about 78 right now. 78 degrees. Yeah, it's supposed to get up to 95. Nice, nice. No nice. rain out here in at least a month. Holy shit, y'all. That's horrible. All right, guys, we're out here. We're gonna see if we can get you some content. I ain't never seen it this low ever. But I think it's gonna benefit us, us here in a minute with some top waters. If we can get into that stuff, I can just see all the bait fishes hanging out in there. I guarantee, hopefully, uh, well, I can't guarantee it, but we're gonna catch something. Chris already caught a stinking damn near five pound. 4.90. 4.90 already. So, all right, guys, y'all enjoying this. Uh, let's go get them. All right, guys, this just looks like, it's slow out here, but it, it looks like frog heaven. Ooh, did y'all see that? That dang frog landed. Oh man, that frog right there. It's like walking around at night. Jack the Ripper walking the streets. Mm -hmm. Guys, I got a, a KBD sexy frog, half inch, all black with watermelon tails. By far, y'all, I'm a frog, I collect frogs. I don't care if they come from Japan, Switzerland, I don't give a dang where they come from. If I can get my hands on them, I'm gonna bring them in. And I can tell you by far, you can think of the Boda frog, uh, the Kara, the, the Kiara frogs, the Jack Alls, I got every one of them. KVD, Strike King in them, man, they did a phenomenal job with this sexy frog. It collapses very, very soft. It got some huge hooks on it. Huge. I mean, once you pin it, once you set that hook on that stinking on this frog, they ain't going nowhere. I've had a lot of uh, frogs pull out. I've seen them pull out of the mouth. It's because it's the, the 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 plastic is too hard, and they every company is like kind of tucking in, tucking in their their hooks. They tuck them in to the side to kind of blend in to make them real weedless. But they don't understand that 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 plastic is too hard, and it is the time you set that hook. It pulls out of their mouth. You got to be super patient and kind of pretty much let them run off and count the five, then maybe set the hook and you'll have a better chance. I've had a couple of strikes. A little tap and tap. Tappity, tappity, tap. I'm come right there on the side of this water, this grass. Guys, I don't know if y'all can see my frog, but let's see. I might need to go to kind of like a, I have a, a shad color frog. There it is. Missed it. I didn't even, I waited too. Yeah, just like I called, just like I called it. I'm gonna come around that little corner and there it was. That's exciting. That's my favorite, favorite, favorite thing to see is a sneaking tall water bite. That just tells you how game, how game this fish is. It's like, they're like Mike Tyson running around.
wouldn't mind going around this corner and coming up this way either. Mm-hmm. Shit, sure, you should pull out that walker. That, walker. Yeah, that white one with the with the that one that got that dirty ass walk. Yeah. That pearl. Oh, there it is. Oh. All right, guys, I hear a good one. I think Chris has got got Chris is on one of them. Does it feel good? Damn, dude. Ooh. Done. Just drag it off the edges. Got it. Chatterbait. That's what I'm saying, guys, that chatterbait will produce fish. I don't give a damn where you go. Little baby boy. Yes, sir. Nice. Get, uh, let, me, let me get on Chris's fish, y'all. Mm -hmm. Ooh, y'all see that? I got one to back. Live action. Yeah, chatterbait's ruthless, man. I can throw it right on top and just skim it like a frog. That blade helps me. See it? Skip off. Yeah, just like this. And they'll come out and smash it. All right, guys, I think I only caught one fish. Let's see if we can catch something. Watch this, I'm gonna skim it. Y'all see it? Watch this. Fish is on, y'all. Feel good? Golly, y'all, he's catching some good ones. That white chatterbait's getting them. Here, bring them over here. Golly, <laughs> catching them. Yeah! That's a, close to a five pounder. Holy moly, look at that bad boy, y'all. Yeah, look how pretty it is. The tail ain't damaged, nothing. Have you been caught before? Nope. Nice. Good job, Chris. You want a picture with that? Look at them all back in there. You know what that means to me? Those, those fish are running deep. You don't ever see that those bait fish so close to the bank like that because they know that those bass will come out and murder them. That's why they use that cover for the highway. There ain't no cover out here. This morning, when the sun wasn't out, you can we can see them. They're all moving around. They they those, those that shad just goes in a circle. That's all they do. Maybe there might be a couple a couple groups. Oh, is that you? Yeah. Careful. I might be actually need to break that. God, this is low, Chris. Oh my God, you broke my line. I know, I stacked it pretty good. Look at it. I lost my fucking uh, chatterbait. <laughs> How did it get so goddamn close? Right, I also went like this too, look. I hit your shit. Yeah, I was turned around. Oh, my rod tip broke. Uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> Golly, Chris. <laughs> now we're going to have to go take it to get fixed.